This is for MR2 Spider Journal. Um, so, I bought this car about a year and a half ago, approximately, and I put a lot of miles on it, and I haven't uh, bled the brakes yet. I have done all new discs and pads a, uh, about a year ago, and but I've never actually bled the system out of old fluid. And so the reason that you would do that is because the fluid can absorb water um, and get dirty and, and it makes the boiling point of the fluid go down. And you can see this is new fluid right here inside. I'll show you what the old fluid looks like. I, I wanted to get a hang of doing this because what I'm doing is another, is a, the old fashioned way of bleeding brakes is that you have two people in the car, or one person in the car pressing on the pedal, one person opening and closing the valve, and the person in the car pumps the pedal, and um, that's how you would bleed brakes, if you want to call it the old fashioned way, or I don't know what the old, old fashioned way actually is, but that's just the simplest way to do it, and probably the cheapest. Um, but what I'm using is called a vacuum bleeder, and I'll show you real quick. Um, it looks like this. It's got the pump, the can, or here's the can right here, and then it has this part which goes into the can, and this seals onto the can, and then this uh, runs all the way. You can see the brake fluid still in there, and then he, this is the, the nozzle that um, goes over your bleeder valve. So I don't have a picture of the bleeder valve yet. For, for people who have never done a brake job, but, uh, but I will. So anyway, so here is what old brake fluid looks like. This is in a uh, empty half of a water bottle, and that is like brown, almost looks like sweet tea, but I guarantee you it's not good to drink, but it's almost like a red-brown color. Um, this is old. So here's what the new one looks like. This is new DOT3 brake, brake fluid. Um, I don't know, I can't confirm that this is DOT3. It probably is, but it's just super old. This is brand new DOT3. This is a uh, uh, Wearever, you know, the cheap brand or whatever. Anyway, you can see over here it says the boiling point is 284 degrees. Water's boiling point is 212 degrees, so that's about a 70 degree difference. So if you think about it, think about going out in zero degree weather, what that feels like, zero degrees Fahrenheit, and then you go into zero degrees, or 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and what the difference is, how that feels, that's a big difference. Um, I've heard other brake fluids can go up to, I wanna say 500 degree boiling point, but I'm not sure. I don't know where I get that figure from, I just, seem to remember that somewhere but anyway so you can see what I'm doing is I'm flushing out the old uh, fluid and you can see the rest of the old fluid right here in this cup that's old fluid so I have done all the wheels or, or all, all the yeah all the wheel positions uh, the way that I do this is I start by this is the reservoir and I start at the furthest point from the reservoir. So the furthest wheel from the reservoir is going to be the rear right side wheel. I start there. The f next furthest point is the rear uh, left rear left side over here. The third farthest point is the right front and the shortest distance is the front left. If that makes sense. I'm trying to pay attention to how I'm talking so if I, something doesn't make sense please let me know anyway that's the that's the overall idea of what we're doing and when I get to the taking the wheel off I'll show you where the bleeder valve is and how the this bleeder brake bleeder system works